my channel IIT Encoder. In this video we will be learning how we will be implementing sign in and sign up with using our MongoDB database and this is the next video in our MongoDB Realm course. So let's get started and first log in. So just enter your credentials and you can log in. After you log in, so you can refer to the MongoDB documents, but I couldn't find a way to explain to you through the MongoDB documents because they are not that good. So I will be giving you a notepad file containing the uh, containing my codes, and if you want the whole code of my application created till now with MongoDB Realm, you can ask for it in the comment section, and I will give to you the GitHub link for that. So after we are here click on realm okay so we need to first this is our app this is the app we had created earlier and this is the unique app id that we had created so now we want to authenticate users so go to app users and authentication and allow users to log in anonymously and click this and on okay and there are various other authentication providers i will i hope that you understand that we can provide authentication using Google, Facebook, etc. And even we can use sign in, sign up by email in MongoDB database too. I will be explaining to you everything. Uh, I will cover the Google authentication in a different video because it is a little complex and you need to understand what is OAuth and the latest updates. For now, let's use the anonymous authentication because it's the easiest. Just click on deploy and as you can see that the deployment was successful okay so now we will go to a project and here we have initialized this app okay so now and we have also have the app id so we don't need to do much we just need to write a code that logins the user anonymously in our application so we will write app dot login async uh, now we need to sign in using anonymous credentials right so we will write credentials dot anonymous now the other parameter of login async is a callback function so we will create a new app dot callback and in this if the result is success then we do something else we do something okay now click on this um so here we will write log dot v tag will be user and the sign will be log in anonymously okay and sorry here is the semicolon and here we will write log dot v user tag and failed to login okay let's try to run it on our pixel so let's debug let it run so i hope you could understand how this method is functioning it's a very easy method and like mongodb provides a very easy way for users logging in anonymously I can I could have done one more thing I could have made an object credentials credentials equals credentials dot anonymous and then passed the credentials dot anonymous instead of credentials dot anonymous I could have passed credentials there so this is another method for logging in the user and the new app dot callback user method is just so that you understand that the user has been logged in anonymously so let's check the log cat or uh, let's just see logged in anonymously also when we go to our mongodb rel we go to users see where we have someone who had logged in anonymously okay 
so now i will demonstrate to you in my next video how to sign in sign up using your email and password so thank you very much for watching this video hope you liked it please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for more such videos on more other topics on mongodb and if you want to if you would like me to cover any specific topic please do leave it in the comment section thank you